Great. Thank you. Uh, along with that uh, question, Frank, there was one similar to that over in uh, the chat. Uh, so then what about being baptized as an adult? Uh, the difference, if there's a difference there, and, and the question is, what about being baptized as an adult and show a faith belief uh, as that of a, a Baptist or uh, any of those beliefs that do the bap baptizing? Well, I, I would say that I would say that the uh, the concept as an adult of uh, celebrating and professing faith to a religion is is wonderful, and that's what it used to be. That's what it should be. But I'm deeply concerned as to the meaning of the word baptism. Just as the word, for example, marriage uh, from Mari, uh, see and ago, which is um, the lords of or overlords of that they you know instead of uh, dealing with matrimony which was the original word we get this corrupted word marriage and so we focus on marriage rather than matrimony here the celebration uh, of the Gnostics of knowledge where the word knowledge comes from was called epinoia and here we have this this uh, derived Latin word that says baptism so I'm deeply concerned that we uh, follow or we use terms that these tricky, tricky people have created that ultimately get us to curse ourselves. Remember, until we realized the basic elements of what was going in court, effectively, we were going to court and, and, and accusing and convicting ourselves, weren't we, technically? Yes. So that's pretty much what, what you've done when you've given the consent or when you've not said that you don't consent. That's right. So I, I, I don't want to, anyone to, to go through a ceremony that ultimately means that you're consenting to, to giving your soul to Satan, yeah, or some negative force, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, when that's not the intention of what people are doing. So I, I just want us, hopefully, I want people as competent, as knowledgeable, as respectful, um, divine immortal spirits and beings to, to see that their intent is honoured in the words. And if we come across horribly corrupted words that we use something like epinoia uh, to, as the concept to celebrate, which is hard when these words are all pervasive. I mean, baptism is used everywhere. And, of course, that's, there's a reason why they promote the word everywhere. So, yeah. All right, great. Thank you, Frank. Uh, can I get to uh, Pennsylvania Free Woman on the phone line? Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello, how are you? Good. Uh, I know this core thing, uh, it, it bothers everybody. <laughs> But um, I think I'm kind of sort of uh, finding a way to uh, argue with the court and win. And um, I guess uh, the one way to do is I believe that court, court is a, is a absolutely is a commerce. It's a bank. Um, I don't think it's yes, anything yes, yes. to do with the military or anything. It's uh, it's a it's it's aligned up with a bank. And um, the Federal Reserve uh, Act basically uh, created the trust. A trustee and the banks are the trustee and the judge, the courts are the trustee and they, it's a banking system. So they're trying to grab as much as money as possible. And if you notice that, you know, if the two, pe two parties are fighting, uh, and they are the third party just have to make a decision uh, they have to look out for their uh, their profits, so they tend to go for a bigger corporation and they give a favor. So it's, sure. it's all about money. And uh, I find that if we, if we go in as a, a executor, the estate, and uh, this fiction name, you have to tell the court that you actually uh, are the surety that you could be able to sign off the debt. Well, so can, I, can, I just 
can I just cut you off there just for a moment? And I appreciate you sharing your 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 opinions, and I still want to get to hear what your question is. But I just want to cut you off there for a moment. Uh, sorry, and the reason I, I, I want to do that is uh, if you're talking about commerce, which you are, huh? then ultimately, what is the base relationship that all commerce in the Western world is based on? And uh, it's a rhetorical because I'll give you the, the answer. It's actually based on an ecclesiastical model called the concept of marriage, where there is a legal title and an equitable title. The legal title is the male. The equitable title is the femme caver. It is the sacrament of marriage. And under that, the, the legal title operates effectively as a guardian and therefore has the right to seize the property at any time. And the equitable title has the uh, right or limited right of use and the keeping of it and obligations of it. So even if you go down the road of commerce, let me say to you that there is a vast amount of knowledge that you may not be aware of that puts uh, enormous danger if you simply uh, agree to the way that the attorneys view the world uh, as merely an act of commerce. There's a reason why they always win. And it's not simply... Uh, yeah? I don't know if you quite understood what I said. Um, you are actually going into the court as, as, a, as a sovereign. You are uh, exactly... No, no, you're, not going in, you're never going to court as a sovereign. Ever go to court as a sovereign. It, the, the, what I'm trying to explain is deep knowledge into their system. There is a huge amount of information that people have when they come to this. Not all the knowledge that people have when they come to this is in the right order or necessarily accurate. So there is great danger in just approaching this as a kind of pick and choose to add to other knowledge. You, you can't come to Eucadia, pick and choose bits, and then graft it onto someone else's thing. That's not saying that Eucadia says, see, or any of this is, yeah? yeah. Hmm? See, actually, uh, uh, what, I'm, what, I'm, what, I mean, uh, what I'm saying is that uh, the fiction name is, is uh, owned by the state. And, uh, but they actually need you uh, you are the living being, and you have the power to sign uh, so they can get the money. So basically, you are the executor of the estate. So, yeah, but uh, again, but why, why is it so important? And that's what I'm trying to explain. At a three-layered cake, you're talking about the, the, the second layer. The first layer is statutes, is case law. The second layer is trust and commerce. But the base law is ecclesiastical. Why do they need you? Now, you might say that uh, it's, it's commerce, commerce, commerce. I've explained in the previous audios. Have you had a chance to listen to the other audios that I've done? Uh, yeah. Okay, and you've had a chance to read on Eucadia and One Heaven and all the material on ecclesiastical deeds and how to succeed at court, yeah? No, I didn't really get into that detail. Uh, well, then, that's very hard because you're making comments without reading the material yet. So when I say to you that the reason they need you is that that commercial bond and all that trust is based on a ritual and that court is based on ritual. Procedure and ritual are two sides of the same coin, one public, one private. And underpinning that is the sacrament of penance and underpinning the instruments are the fact that they're indulgences. And if it's going to be pinned against your confession, your agreement, they need you there. But understand how every piece fits. And can I just suggest that please have a read and always I welcome opinions and ideas. But if you're going to share, please share on the basis that you've had a chance to read. And then I would love, and, and people will say this, and I say this to you, if there's something wrong, you will correct it. It's a model. But please have a read first because there's a huge amount of investment, not of my time, but of many people's time to prepare this information. Okay? So has anybody, anybody studied uh, deeply into the, this, uh, this subject? Uh, did anybody um, doing anything in courts? Uh, do you see any results? There are hundreds of results, ranging from cases being dismissed 
tomatoes being uh, removed and then there are also hun or not hundreds but many dozens of examples where the court has dug in and wants to fight so unlike many other places we don't keep a tally by saying the 500th customer success this is not a this is not a, a movement for simply a handful of remedies we are here to literally restore the law and restore the law means we are seeing the abolition of the bar and the introduction of something better than that in the form of colleges we're seeing the removal of a corrupt system and a replacement with law that is just and fair so we're not here to promote one or two if people merely want to go to this to keep a track history of tell me how many people have succeeded and I say there are hundreds of success stories already that's not what we're here for and if that's what people come from sorry that's not what this is about okay very good thank you Frank uh, thank you um, PA free woman if you have another question Anyone on the phone line, press star 8 and get back in the question queue. I'm going to move on to some more questions that are really uh, coming up in the chat over here, uh, Frank. Uh, can we give public notice via international means, uh, like YouTube, then serve via email to the head, meaning wh whatever that head is, whether it's the Pope or, or whoever, instead of part of the tail? as opposed to one or more EDPs? Well, I, I think uh, vocalization is extremely powerful. I think um, YouTube is an incredible medium, and I think the Internet is definitely an opportunity, but it's only one medium, and, uh, and it's only one, one process. Um, the the mop-up with these people in terms of battles, because, as I said, the war is, war is over, uh, is... Uh, really um, a chance to um, uh, we've got to look at all options so I wouldn't say that the YouTube is the best way uh, or it's the only way uh, I think if you are looking to uh, clearly uh, establish who and what you are and you have the ability to produce uh, YouTube videos do it if you have the opportunity to put up audios do it uh, but don't feel that that is the only way there is still the need to engage their system and the reason for the engagement is not to to obtain some magic permission from them it's to expose the fact that the system is established on fraudism it is to expose and separate the law from that and leave them uh, exposed and, and really for what they are which is they are actors usurpers so I know it's a long-winded answer, but I think the YouTube's great, but it's not the only way. Right. There, there are many ways. Thank, thank you, Frank. Uh, next question. How can you own land after, AD, after the EDP? Uh, do you need to claim it in the public, or how would that work? Okay. There's a whole section there on um, how to own your home and still their parts still uh, to be finished. But there is a, a right that everyone has, which is called a promised land record. Uh, it's worth going and having a read. I really suggest that uh, people go and read that on one-heavenfirst.org, where you see what is a, a promised land record. Uh, and you have the right to a domicile. You have a right to a home. And the EDP process merely uh, establishes you as a competent um, uh, divine immortal spirit and that the, the system cannot claim flesh blood or spirit from you and I would go and have a look at that system first because why I'm hesitating is that there are a lot of information there already that I'm not I'm trying to think how I can condense it down into a simple statement the simple statement is under one heaven you have a right it's a right that was promised to you it was a right that was promised by the divine it's a right that the existing system has squelched on they have not given it to you in fact they've deprived it from you and it is the right to the promised land that was a promise to you when people say well that, isn't that the Israelites you are the Israelites you are the Israelites you are the people that were given the promise by the divine 
that under this system we follow through and deliver it.